All right, Sean, we're here with Leonardo Pacheco. Where are you from? Um, originally from Colombia, but I live in New York. What uh, city in Colombia? Uh, Cali City. Okay, so uh, is this your first time here at the USA? No, I've been here in the USA for almost 18 years. Okay, uh, in the United States. The United States. Yeah. How many times have you been in this competition? Uh, this is my first USA, and I've been doing uh, and down already. About, I think four nationals. So, what do you think about it? I mean, here the show's uh, pre-judging was last night. Your first time here at the USA. How'd you feel? I feel great. I, I think I uh, have a good chance tonight. Uh, I think the competition is close. We'll have really good conditioning. And I think it's, that's what I'm going to carry me through to the... To yeah, you, the you looked uh, in great condition. Did you notice any of the guys you were standing next to? Do you pay attention to those guys? Um, just Batista, because I'm being, I, I competed against him in 2007, I think. Uh, I took second... Uh, no, 2008, I took two seconds, he took fourth. Uh, he's a great competitor. He's, I mean, good body, nice balance. It's, it's a pleasure to com compete against people like that. So, what did you do to get in such great shape? Did you do anything different than what you've done in the past? Yes, a lot of cardio. <laughs> yes, a lot. I thought cardio was easy. Is cardio harder than actually training with the weights? Uh, I think for me personally, cardio is the hardest part. I was doing 45 in the morning, 45 at night, then 5, 15 in the morning, 15 at night. This is where the mental aspect comes in because when you started out as a bodybuilder, you just wanted to lift weights, get the pump, and feel strong. And now you're finding out the refinement portion of bodybuilding has to do with the boredom and monotony of doing the cardio. What type of cardio were you doing? I was doing um, the elliptical for half an hour, and then I was doing the set meal. Yeah, it's amazing what that does for your conditioning. Could, could you see Sergio Oliva doing uh, that type of stuff back in the day? It would be amazing if he do cardio. It would be crazy. So you're from Colombia. Is there any other bodybuilders that have come out of Colombia that have, uh, have a name? No, that, um, that I have in my head right now. I don't think so. so you're trying to become the first Colombian to put the, the country on the map. No, I think um, this guy from New York, from... I forgot his name. <laughs> He's a professional bodybuilder. He was a professional... Uh, is it Eduardo? Or is it Brazilian? Uh, Brazilian. Oh, man. Well, it doesn't really matter because right now, you're the guy trying to make a name for yourself. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I've been posing, too. A lot of posing, trying to improve. I, I think I miss it. I mess up with one of my poses, double buys, and I think Batista got me in that one. But uh, I saw the pictures, and I think I, I got it now. I corrected. So, bro. We'll find out tonight at the finals. Leonardo from MuscularDevelopment.com.